guys welcome to another tutorial video on this video we'll be learning how to make a butterfly ruched skirt so first things first you get your material and fold it then you mark out your measurements first of all mark your waist measurement remember you're you're marking this measurement on the right side of your material that's on the front part of your material so you mark out your measurement for a skirt on one side and mark the same measurement on the other side on the front side of your skirt so you mark out your measurement like so your waist your hip and then the length of your skirt then on the waist area you come down by one inch as you can see come down by one inch whatever you, you do to one side you do the same thing to the other side so this is the front of our skirt and then we notch that one inch that we came down with then we get another material on fold and then we are using it to cut the back of the skirt remember we are making we are drafting our measurements we are putting our measurements on the front side of our material so you mark out your zipper allowance and then the same thing you did to the front you do it to the back come down by one inch on the we on the waist area mark out your waist then mark out your hip line and then you connect as you can see do the same thing to both sides like so you know that if your waist measurement is six inches divided by two is three so you mark three on one side three on the other side to complete it so this is how we're going to do it as we were saying you mark out the same measurement at the front sides of your material so when we're done marking we'll notch down one inch that we came down on the hip area then we notch the zipper allowance area and open up the back of our skirt so the material i would advise you use one yard for the front one yard for the back because we want to get that a uh, butterfly roost effect do you get if you watch you see that there's an excess of material that i left that's what to give us that ruched effect so i've gone ahead to join the zipper allowance area of the back can you see this is the front this is the back sorry i've gone ahead to close the zipper allowance area so now i'm going to close the the edges from that place that i notched at the waist area i'm going to close the edges of the front can you see where i'm showing you and the sides down so i'm going to close the edges and then can you see i've closed all the edges but i left that upper part of the waist that i came down by one inch so after closing the edges now it's time for me to shape my dress you see why i said we should make our markings on the right side so that we'll see how to shape the dress so when i'm done shaping the dress i made another stitch because it's true that stitch will pass our bias that we use to create that ruched effect so now after doing that joining the mat the skirt you create another stitch by the side after that then you create your band your waistband for the skirt so after that creating your waistband then you fix your zip can you see you first of all put your waistband before you fix your zip you fi fix your waistband on that part that is open can you see can you see what i'm showing you so after fixing your waistband and your zip this is how your skirt will look like then you get a bias or a a rope like material you get and then you fix it into that channel that you created by the sides of your skirt can you see so i'm fixing the, the bias that i've already created now when i'm done fixing it you see the bias will come out on top so you close that area at the top before you now draw your bias so i'm done now look at the skirt this is how your skirt will look then the rope so what you are left to do is to 
draw it down depends on how ruched you want your skirt to be you want it short you want it long that's left for you so thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel bye